celebrating with the host of Food Network's The Kitchen, please welcome Chef Marcella Valladolid. You. Okay, this is exciting because um, what we're making today is one of my husband's favorites that I, I am not able to make for him. You so. will be able to make it after okay. today. Very Excellent. excited. Tamales and salsa verde. Mm. That's what, can you try that one? No. <laughs> I don't know if I can have another margarita after earlier. <laughs> they told, I, you're great with your with your um, accent, so mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll try it after you know. Okay. Afterwards. So, so we're gonna do this assembly line style, the way it's done in Mexico with all the mothers and grandmothers, and the way that I did it with my family. So okay. we're gonna start off with the corn husk, and then what I have here is a corn husk that I just soaked in water overnight. It's important to soak it so it's nice and pliable. Mm -hmm. That's really important. You're never gonna be able to do this if it's dry like that. Got it. So soak it overnight, and then you're gonna rip off a little piece, and we're gonna save that for later. Oop, a little bit longer, yeah. just like this. Okay. And then I'm going to be on masa. Okay. For masa, you have a very simple mixture of masarina, salt, baking powder, because I like them to be nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Fluffy. Nothing mm -hmm. worse than a dense tamal. Right. And then I do lard and a little bit of chicken broth or vegetable broth if you want to keep it vegetarian, but okay. we got chicken, so okay. you know. Okay. okay, so first step is the schmear. The schmear. Yeah. This is important, Kelly, if you're going to make these at home. You're We're having a, a tamale with a schmear. It's a schmear. Exactly. It's in New York. You have to have a schmear. Okay, so we'll do that part. And this could be a little bit softer, depending on your preference for masa. These can be nice and softer. It'll give her kind of a peanut butter texture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you're next down on the assembly line. Okay. We need a couple tablespoons of the mixture. And this is the chicken that's been cooked in this tomatillo, cooked down with some jalapenos and some garlic and some onion. Just really good flavors. And then we're going to pass it down, sir. You You're in go. charge of the hardest part of the tamal. Well, eating? I'm a <laughs> <laughs> do you mind if I come over? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. Okay. So you fold over both sides kind of tight yes you can do it yes you can do it you can do it and then okay. you leave the, the top part open and then you fold the bottom up excuse me okay. Okay. a little bit more my friend yes that's good and then you take your string that you've created with that you did a really good job i'm kind of impressed yeah, yeah. And then you, you tie I think it I up. Have skills in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and then you tie it up, and this is a tamal. Oh! How about that? You did good. Wonderful Thank job. You. Thank you. Wonderful job. And Excellent. then what we do? Well, we have. You can go a little bit tighter with that. I messed yeah. that up. No, that's okay. It's I'm, your first time. I'm very impressed for this being your first time. Yeah. And then once they're assembled, what do we do with them? Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna steam them. Okay. And oh. if you don't have a steamer, no, 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 you can. This is just a regular steamer, okay. as you can see. This. Well, we can hold this. Okay. This is a regular steamer. But if you don't have one, you can kind of improvise and make one at home. So what you can do is you actually just take aluminum foil okay, and make some balls just like this. So you're creating volume, right? Because yeah. you don't want the tamal to sit right in the water because it's going to get all soggy, soggy yeah. and gross. Mm -hmm. So you put maybe like five or ten balls and then you just stack the tamales over the foil, no just kidding. making sure that it doesn't touch the water. Wow. Incredible. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. So okay. It's a little That's trick great. for you to make tamales. And then when you steam them, it's really important that when they come out of the steamer, when you peel the tamal, it needs to not stick to the corn husk. Mm. Otherwise, it means it needs to be it needs to be cooked for a little while. Give longer. us wow. give us an estimate on how long we should steam them for typically. About an hour. About an hour. But you know what? If you're like from my family and you've got like 700 going on at a time, you might need a couple of hours. It right. depends on the batch. Got but it, got for it. the most part, it's an hour until the dough gets hard enough where it'll peel nicely from the corn husk. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, Take a break, and, yeah. uh, and, and Take a break. We'll be right back with Marcella, everybody. One second, Marcella. If you'd like to know more about anything you see on live, log on to our website, livekellyandmichael.com. The kitchen, and we are finished up our uh, tamales. It, and it's time to taste them. Time to taste. It's yeah. tamale time. Also, we're, okay. we were curious about this penny, penny. that's What's here. It's an for? old Mexican culinary kind of little secret. What you do is you put it at the bottom of the pot, and when it starts to rattle, it means you're running out of water, and you need to add more, or oh. your tamales won't dry out. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. that's genius. Okay, so can you okay. be in charge of unfolding the tamales so okay. I let you guys know what else is happening? Yeah, sure. Right. Right. Get on there. We got ceviche. People are always complaining mm. about how about how Mexican is not healthy. All this is. It's delicious sushi grade raw fish with some cilantro, some chile, some cucumber, a little bit of tomato, salt and pepper, lime juice to cook the proteins in the fish. Really delicious, really fresh, perfect for your Cinco de Mayo celebration. Mm -hmm. Great to put together. And the recipes are all up on your website. Yes. So if you guys right. want to cook this later today, it's all there. And then salsa. Also super healthy, actually packed with antioxidants. And you have tomatoes, a little bit of serrano. Perfect. 
or jalapeno if you don't want it to be too spicy. Uh, onions and garlic and lime. And that's pretty much about all you need Thank to you. make just a really Welcome. good salsa. Are you guys trying the tamales? Oh, yeah, we're gonna I'm try trying right the tamales right now. And then go. guacamole that you've got over here. I like simple guac, just salt, a little bit of lime, maybe cilantro, yeah. maybe a little bit of serrano. People that's add it. too much stuff. I'm, thank you. Uh, I, they really do. Thank you. People Keep are like mango simple. or pomegranate. And I'm like, no. no. All Bring you need up. for good guac yes. is a good avocado. That's and that's it. it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Well, Cheers. I appreciate you. Thank try you. it out. Try. And then for the Great. drink that you were really into, the just special drink. Mm. So simple. It's like a mojito and a margarita mixed yeah. into one. He's on number three. He's on number three. He likes it. He likes it. <laughs> it's basically just a simple syrup that yeah. has a little bit of mint. But my secret addition is that I like to add Mexican uh, lime soda because it's sweetened with uh, pure cane sugar and not uh, high fructose corn syrup. So you get more of the flavor of the sugar and it adds mm. a little bit of fish. Yes. So yes. salute. Thank you yes. for having me. Thank you.